Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another Life is Strange stream. And uh, this time we're going to start with episode 3. And uh, let me set everything up. Uh, channel, where is that stream? Here it is. So yeah, episode three, and um, we quit it yesterday. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, come on, yeah, there we is, chat. Uh, we ended yesterday uh, with um, Max helping Kate, preventing her for committing suicide, and uh, Kate was in hospital, Max had a little talk with the dean of the school, with the principal and we chose to blame Jefferson and keep Nathan and uh, step douche out of the, the heat um, and that's where we kind of ended so yeah let's start episode three Maybe if there's time, if I look at the time right now, we can even do two episodes today. That should be doable, manageable. There we go. trying to look at the photographs we have to take this episode but I can't open that screen yet a cutscene is in hospital she's in safe hands don't you worry max i knew chloe would be all over this so i better get moving first things first no 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 don't leave the room i need to do something thank you because one of the pictures i need to water the plant every episode oh, i'm sorry lisa i saved kate but i drowned my own plant oh i'm sorry lisa i saved kate but i drowned my own plant that's shitty because in this episode, I need to make a photograph of the plant. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, not on this. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. 
and all roads are leading to my tornado vision. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to Oh, that's concerned for later. She's basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. Because luckily, this isn't like uh, um, Detroit Become Human or games like that, where you really need to make choices on choices and play it out. Uh, I can go chapter select and uh, go back to it because one of the uh, pictures I need to take later on is. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. Um, I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. Is r rescue the plant by watering it every chance I got, and apparently. On one occasion, I forgot it, and later on, you need to make a picture of the full-grown plant. Kate doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web, and even I'm in this one. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Man, I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will okay. be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well. Scroll statue. Oh. A lot of Shut pictures. Shut down for the next month. Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. All the time in the world. Okay, since there is no picture to be taken here, let's continue. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Light. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. So much hypocrite. Mm-hmm. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. That's what happens when you bully people. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I believe you, Max. Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. That meant a lot to me. I'm my own person, too. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Ah, shut Especially up. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Let's go all the way back into the conversation.
Hey, Max. Oh, wait, I now I didn't fit the rabbit. Save Kate. That's not good. I can't believe she tried to jump. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh, man. Like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Can I go back to feed the bunny? Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Shitty that I forgot the plan. Oh well, we'll get back to it anyway. But since Victoria's gone, now we can sneak about her in her room. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Those boots are made for walking runways. Those boots These are made socks for socks cost more than my wardrobe. Rich kids, huh? I'll title this one Portrait de la Assholes. <laughs> oh, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Getting loaded with Satan. <laughs> That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Bloody hope so. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Victoria is about as straight as me. But <sighs> nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Whoa. I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. So, no evidence and no clues. Now we can go. This is both sad and pathetic. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. 
I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. I was lucky. That's all. No, girl. That was not luck. You made a choice to save her. Like a superhero. Mm -hmm. Then maybe it's time to catch the bad guys. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. Okay, okay. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. The Houston dormitories. I think I have to retrace a lot of steps on this one because I can't remember what the photographs are. Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. That's one I know for sure. Look at the lens and say nut. Gotcha. That's one. Lance crafted. Okay. So I'm missing a kind of a statue thingy. I can go back in. Okay. I gotta backtrack that one. Hello, hello, welcome in Taz. How are you doing? Enjoying the last bits of uh, of the weekend? Principal Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm, so I'm toast if he down. sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be <laughs> outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe save Blackwell. Now don't get caught. You're not a great principal if you're drunk on the premises. You earned good dreams. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? So how was your weekend, Taz? Had a good one? Blackwell almost lost another student. Need to rewind. Make sure he goes inside. And then we can sneak right past him. There he goes. I know I have a set of keys on me. Max the ninja strikes again. Of course she does.
It's time for little one to bed, but we'll look for a while. Well, thank you for looking, for being here, and good luck with putting the little one to bed. I've got luck more have fun, I guess, at this age. Chloe. Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like yeah. a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Kay. Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Put your Kay balls to the walls, man. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass True. power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the players. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. She Fuck is. the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. <laughs> you are such a boss, Chloe. Yes, she is. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long Me as you're too. my partner in time. Insert <laughs> grown here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea <coughs> two were that close. Oh, uh, well, <coughs> how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max. Who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her? I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Too you bad. Are you kidding me? Took a chance and it failed. Ooh, fuckity who? So stupid. Just 
just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Bit strange, isn't it? A, pro a kind of modern school and no alarm. They just hop in with spare keys. Hmm. Not that great security, is it? Oh well. A little bit helpful though. Hey, welcome in darkness. Just saw you popping in. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. True, true. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. <sighs> okay, Chloe. No, I'm not speaking to you yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's the statue on the principal's desk, if I'm not mistaken. Can't do shit yet. Need to talk to Chloe first. Okay. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. Should have. He's Why hiding not? shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key. True. Just in case. Why, yes, I could. Well, let's do that then. Nothing here. I remember it was here somewhere. Uh, the no desk. keys here. <clears throat> At least I thought they were. Not in the other drawers. Nothing to see here. This one. Desolation. Oh shit! Of course, here a key rack. Keys. None for the principal's office. Hmm. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Crap. Files, files. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your bubble physics heart. expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? <laughs> huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, I We go guy. boom boom. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is mm -hmm. on. See you soon. The race is on. 
Erase his Warren arm. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Release the crack hand. It's all mine anyway. Really? I needed soda Only for the... three more items to go. Okay. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Like a scene in a horror film. Yep. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. <laughs> nice going, Max. sad you tried to see the good in the world mm -hmm. shit daniel's a better illustrator than photographer said max the art critic victoria that is pretty fucking sweet how can i hate somebody that shoots like that i feel gross even looking at nathan's work but he does have some style true You can never escape the lighthouse here. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Or not. Oh yeah, the duct tape. The tape is mine. There we go. True, a soda can, duct tape, certain glory, and sugar. Where do, home, Max. where do I find sugar? Talk to you later. Be something I can use here. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. So, sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. This mixture doth not work. I need the sugar. Ooh, sugar. Only one more ingredient left. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Ass biology. Oh, gross. No, just biology. A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. Not what you think it means. I never said they were great, troll. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Wake him up then. Good evening, fish fish. There we go. That's the fishies. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Nice. The reflex. 
sounds like a Duran Duran song, which it is. Uh, where do I find that weed killer? There it is. Here's the sodium chloride box. Smoking kills. Histogrammar. Max, if you can't find sodium chloride in the science lab, give it up. I can find it, but I don't know how to get it. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. There we go. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. No, Max has the bomb. Not is the bomb. Okay, so those pictures taken as well. Um, we'll just play along and see how far we get. Because there won't be anything further in this part. Because I don't think we can get into the toilets. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine what there would be to take a picture of. We can try. Oh wait, toilets are over here. No, it's principal office, then toilets are over here. But I reckon they're closed. A long time ago, in a girl's room right here. Okay. So nothing there, okay. Let's continue to the headmaster's office. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. No alarm whatsoever. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? She can't cheat with a rewind. Oh, this bullshit fucking door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and feed it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. Yep. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? <laughs> I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. I'm going to use the bird and take a picture. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. <laughs> Chloe, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Say good night to the bad guy. Good night, bad guy. Bouquet. You're not so tacky up close. I 
I thought there was something with that bird as well. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. There was something about that bird. I'm taking a. You're not so tacky up close. A picture of that as well. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. Did she say wowzer? Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. <laughs> Yeah, you would. Files. Let's see, what do I have uh, here? Nothing here. That ain't much. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Okay, cause I'm gonna see girls, keep our eyes on the ears. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. <laughs> Parking lot, even though closing sense and abstention inches. Two more files to go. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Uh -huh. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. <laughs> I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Oh, tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds. Look at this pile. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, of course it is. Look everywhere, Matt. Now's your chance to get revenge on Blackwell. Oh yeah, I'm so bummed I don't get to party with the Vortex Club. There's still time. Especially with you around, right? Don't talk. Search. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. You're finally learning from the master. <laughs> Wait, where did I then? I certainly can't use this. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Of course she is. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. You're not so tacky up close. Something still keeps me busy that there is something Bass, about that hawk. Better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, 
and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott yep, III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, mm -hmm. it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. Yep, he is. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. That as well. Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. <laughs> Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so Bastard. going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. I we understand. got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just <laughs> rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. <laughs> we should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Mm -hmm. Last time I played this game, I left the money because it didn't feel right. Let's see what happens if we steal it. Frank knows things about Rachel and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. Ah, uh, wait, that's it. I need to take a... There's something telling me there was something with that hawk. Maybe if I turn the light on... Can't do that anymore, okay. Something tells me that you needed to take a picture of it. Oh well. Uh, let's bail then. I'll look it up later what needs to be done. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? Of it's course she does. It's a week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done True. for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So, Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> you stole that from someone else as well. Not an original Chloe. Ah, come on with the loading screen already. Splish splash it is. Ah, oh, I can remember I had some trouble with this, the escape. Ah, oh, we'll figure it out. Like we always do. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. 
<laughs> we still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. True. Chloe is so psyched for girls night out, so I'd better follow her evil plan. Go otters. I would love a soda, but I'd just get wired. Boys or girls? Boys. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I guess I should consider this evolution. Boys locker room is right. Sometimes. There was something about... No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Zack is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? He has a crush on you, dimwit. Some poor hipster lost their vape. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? No, it's not. Oh, this the must be for training kids. to know Victoria loves something besides Hey Ash, welcome in. How are you doing? How was the family visit yesterday? Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. Caulfield. Very good. I end up staying longer because of my niece, Lol. Ah, cool. Like I said, family's always uh, always nice and always goes this first. This almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. <clears throat> so nothing in the boys, and there's a picture to be taken in the girls. Oh, by the way, I forget to tell you, but. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but do you know who does the voice of Chloe? Boys or girls? A bunch of goofballs. <laughs> girls. Of well, gotta have some goofballs. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Ashley, I love. Okay, cool. Then you probably know that she's in the game you're playing now as well. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. One sock. Where does hmm. that other sock go? The sock monster, of course. Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Yuck. Yeah, I swear every game I play, she finds her way in. Lol, <laughs> she creeps in every game just because of you. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be fun? 
That would be cool. Ha ha. It burns. Victoria's Secret. So, Victoria's Secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse <laughs> art with the artist. These are cool shots. Same with Laura Bailey, so true. Who is Laura Bailey? Help me, please, because uh, that name doesn't ring a bell. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? I know there was a photograph to be taken in the girls' or boys' locker room, but wasn't it a part of graffiti? Something this like isn't that. This is a desperate cry for She was probably in Last of Us 2. Ah, okay. She's in a lot of Telltale games. Okay. Yeah, that name doesn't ring a bell, so thank you for, uh, Hello, for informing me. <laughs> I saw a Facebook message that they already got you someone to play Abby in The Last of Us 2. Well, we care, dickhead. I hope so, friend. I thought there was a picture to be taken in one of the dressing rooms. Am I... wrong? I've heard that. I wonder who... I don't know, but it was an up-and-coming act actress who... I had the looks as I saw the picture, but I can't remember who it is anymore. I'm excited to see season two. Yeah, I still need to watch season one. I was actually uh, want to replay the game and then uh, um, watch the seasons, but I never got into the game again. So I start watching the season. I was halfway episode three, I guess. By the way, Ash, you probably know that. Wasn't there a picture to be taken here in one of the locker rooms and then you needed to rewind to get on the right one? Check your notebook. I think some of them are what's supposed to be. Yeah, they do. But I already forgot a few. Uh, let's change the camera a bit because I can't see that. Uh, I can't see that, that part. Uh, that's the RV of Frank. The ant, I don't know for sure. The bird, I'm still thinking about that bird statue in the principal office. You need to readjust it and take a picture if I'm not... Remember it wrong. The bottom left is Rachel and her uh, Rachel I'm sorry uh, Chloe and her dad during the flashback or Chloe and uh, no or yeah Chloe and her dad the suit I don't know wasn't I supposed to take one of the football jerseys on and then take a picture and the statue on the top left is in one of the rooms if I'm not mistaken and I also forgot in one of the playthroughs, in one of the earlier episodes, I forgot to water the plant one time. So that photo of has gone too. I have to replay that. But I, the, I got some, uh, some memory of a, uh, no, wait, oh, there it is. Some memory of something in here that you got to put a jacket or something on and then make a picture out of it. Because they give you the option here for Those both are some dressing rooms. Ass old shirts. Yuck. And otherwise, I'm just going to replay it. I'll find the pictures anyway. Maybe just rewind one more time. And go to the gentleman's locker room. Press 
Callisto. Dude, it's getting old. Try and dazzle me with another trick. I think the top left might be one of Chloe holding the gun in a junkyard. You better believe us shooting that bird in a courtyard together on top of the totem pole. I really struggle with remembering the one chapter. I could be wrong. No, no problem. Uh, at the same. Uh, for some reason, uh, chapter one and two were really easy to remember. I just missed one or two on each. But for some reason... Actually, I've already replayed that. I got all of them. But for some reason, I don't know. Still, like I said, the, I remember something about um, the you got that bronze bird statue on the on the desk of the principal. I remember something of moving that bird and then take a picture. Uh, but I also took a picture of Chloe to the right uh, to the right bottom part. Maybe that was the picture. I don't know. We'll just play through and I'll see. I'll just go to Boys the gentleman's dressing room one more time and then we'll see. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Or maybe I need to lock Chloe out? That could be a thing too. Chloe's locked out now. Let's see if I... what happened? If I... Go into the swimming Zach pool. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Because I remember, I thought it was one of the graffitis you need to take a picture of. But that's not it. Oh well, let's see. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Maybe it's the, the lifeguard. Uh... Oh, yeah, wasn't it the lifeguard? Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Because if you don't. Yes, we get it. Otters. If you don't lock, lock Chloe out, you trigger the cutscene when you go into. Don't even think I'm going to make a move on you. Uh, when you go into the pool. Yeah, that's right. The graffiti is during the vortex party in one of the toilets. That's in the boys' locker room. Yeah, I was mis I was uh, confused with that one. So the big plan is win. Ah, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Yeah, you're right. It's the it's the um, uh, it's in the vortex party where you get to go into it's just locker rooms. And in the, during the vortex party, you can take a picture to the window of the moon as well. Because that's not now either. Yeah, I don't think, I think I struggle with remembering this one because it's the same area over and over. Yeah, that's true. And otherwise, what I do, I mean, I've played the game before, I know, um, no shame in uh, using some guide. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Let's just open the door up for Chloe. And continue. Presto! 
Dude, it's getting old. Try and dazzle me with another trick. Why am I back in here? I didn't... Okay. Yeah, I had to use a guide to get the platinum. Yeah, me as well. Had the same. Ah, so I didn't... Chloe oh, just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Hit that light. Mm -hmm. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. There we go. <laughs> Let's go splish splash. Time to do or die, Max. Come on. I want the splish splash too. Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Gosh, Chloe, you're so demanding. Whatever you say, by the way. <laughs> Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun, 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> Did you notice, by the way, that the remastered version, that they only remastered the, the faces of Chloe and Max, and the rest is still bland? At least it looked sure? bland to me. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just. Yeah, I figured that would have happened, lol. Time. I didn't get the remaster balance. It does look that different from. You doesn't look different from what I remember. Max. Yeah. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. Maybe your eyes are you brighter or something. Like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. Yeah, the the face just look a bit more alive, more happening, not so bland. And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. There's more movement in the faces, at least. Warren is nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But yeah, I noticed Chloe's face just then. No worries. But it's just like they, they did yourself, it just with the main characters and the rest is still a little bit bland, you know? Don't look so sad. But to me it's all extra. I mean, I bought the 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 ultimate edition of uh, through co uh, uh, True Colors and this was bonus. Had more expression. I, uh, yeah. I think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out.
gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Yeah, and go into your clothes soaking wet. Ah, uh, step douche. Hi. This is a tricky part. For some reason, I always... Fail at this. Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Are you shitting me? This makes me want to replay Life is Strange and you miss Sean and Daniel so bad. Dude, Don't spoiler! Like I haven't we played kids. it yet. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? Hello? Anybody there? No, nope. walk on. Come on, walk on. Thank you. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. No, you didn't. Oh, first try. We are Step so douche? Invisible. Yeah. Just the main characters, okay. This is literally the second time I play this game, and it's the first time I got it in one try. I mean, last time I was just, ah, oh, this was so, uh, I, I was seen so many times. For some reason, I just did the rewind all over and over again, and that was not the, the, the way to go with. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer I just busted lives so I'll be safe? Okay. <laughs> Into the car. The night sequence at the end was so bad for me. Every <gasps> time you rewind, you get caught. Yeah. I had the same. Or oh, there's also some kind of... Uh, there's also a, a few really tedious pictures there. I mean, you got to do that in one go or something like that. Or you can be seen or you need to take the hard way to get to a photo opportunity. Something like that. Or you need to find the, the bottles again. I don't know. There's some something. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's that. Uh, it rings a bell. Oh, now I know what the bird is. I released the bird in the first or second episode uh, through uh, the window of the the master bedroom. But I couldn't get the bird into the bathroom because you need to take a picture of the bird in the bathroom. But that's in this part, I guess. Those damn bottles, yep. Of course, Always we're going to take a selfie. Photo bomb! Photo hog. Bling? No. Too bad. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. <laughs> I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit I'll my photo. I'll take selfies as soon as I wake up with my chlorine vesting. <laughs> Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. 
even though I'm pimping the school in town. I always to tease my girlfriend when I'm on the toilet. Um, I don't want to see Arcadia uh, she can uh, normally, if you, like you can hear something through a picture. If you see a picture of something with a like certain it. theme song or anything, you can hear a picture. She can smell a picture. So every time I'm on the toilet doing a, uh, a number two, I take a selfie and send it to her. And then I get vomiting smileys back because she really can smell the picture. <laughs> Does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Bro. <laughs> That's the only, uh, only uh, time I make selfies. <laughs> keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning. I'm so wiped out from last night, but it was awesome. Yep. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night Just was only the tip one. of the iceberg. I have At least you got the money to pay off Frank. It was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Or in a hella nightmare. With the sidewalk and the pigeons in my window reflection. The mask of polish. Rock chick. <laughs> I, I only see that run now. Great. Do I need to press circle? Ah. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Put some clothes on first, Hillbilly. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Don't be a dummy, cover your really. That does the trick. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. <laughs> it's really cool because the Tom Wowser, uh, a famous uh, Dutch radio guy, uh, who beside radio has his own food review channel and uh, food reviews on, uh, uh, on fast food. And he's trying to take to make Wowser big again. So every time, if if he finds something amazing or really with great taste, Wowzers, and he really tries to make that term oh, big again over here. Identified yet? Wowzers, Max, are you serial? I'm Fupa Fupa Ferial. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. <laughs> Time to put on your daily armor, Max. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Nope, you can't. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Why is the Chloe marker over here? That doesn't make sense. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. <laughs> so, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend. I can imagine that. I'm going to uh, experience that day as well, three times. I went through a boy toy phase. 
among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. Have there been any bugs? I remember when it came out, people were posting me. funny glitches. Sounds like you totally crushed No, I haven't image. mentioned anything. You would too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer, and she wanted to be a model. Eh, now it's back. If you want, right go place. ahead and check out the closet for some fresh clothes. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Not. Hmm. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. <laughs> at least give it a try. Well, at least I got my... Always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. Slay your arm. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to Actually, I, this year was my first moshing. I've been going to concerts for like 15, like 15 years already, and it's the first time I really. 15? 20 years. First time I went in a mosh pit. Whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, a circle pit as well. Kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Of course, we're going to kiss. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Well, I thought I could choose some clothing options, but... Ah. Oh, I remember on Before the Storm when Rachel wore that. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Ah. Uh, uh, maybe not. That line, on, okay. Say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. Oh, you played this so often, I didn't even know that line anymore. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find Ready out. for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. <laughs> Now I can get out. I remember all the cringe dialogue. What? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. There is the birdie. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> It's done irreversible damage to my psyche in a good way. You know, the the good thing about this game is that whatever your life problems are, it makes you go back to your own high school period and remember, well, how shitty everything is right now. It's all going to be all right. It's going to be all right in the end. No problem. Pinhold. Ah, that was the blouse, but that bird is... You need to do something to make that bird move, if I'm not... If I remember correctly. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. There really should be something happening with that bird. I don't know what. Uh, maybe look for something in the master bedroom? No, I can't go in. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Ew. Maybe the bird is supposed to be on the window in the dining room or on the fireplace. 
Yeah, but I remember something about tossing that bird around, moving some objects, and then the bird flew away. Or well, maybe it just every time you pass, and same like the plants, you water it every time, and then the fourth or fifth time you can make a picture of it. Maybe it's what the same with the bird. Every time you go come into this house, the bird has another spot, and at last time you can take a picture of it. Ah, oh, damn, that's loading screens. Ah, oh, that part of uh, Chloe and the... Uh, Refrigerator. Uh, refrigerator. I walk past the refrigerator. Chloe in the bed after the accident. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. these birds died. Be right back, going to grab something to eat. Sure, take your time, I have to do that in a few minutes as well. Be sent, uh, I can't remember anymore. Let's go back inside. This might be the one time these people are right. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Uh -oh. call soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Yes, she has. Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. Oh, uh -huh, so that's the I. one. That's what you were saying. Um... Wow, there's Max. Are you cereal? Yeah, Chloe cereal. Talk to Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Ah, uh, uh, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. 
pancake. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. Oh, I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved it. <laughs> I remember we would erase each other to grab them from the stack. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. Oh yeah, I needed to take a picture of Joyce when she's. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. When she's baking those pancakes. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Now for the mother's milk. Mother's milk? Nah. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those <clears throat> clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? <coughs> and why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. Go on, grab a seat, Max. I'm almost done whipping up this amazing breakfast. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Sit down and grab some breakfast. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Let's eat. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. <laughs> wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I 
I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. <coughs> Things she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Let's do that then. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Oh wait, I need to to, uh, to find that. Remember that statue that he has, because on that statue is a date, and that was it. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military pad. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Nothing in it. Uh, 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 what was that again? It was some kind of memorial. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. No, that's not it either. I could try the license number for the password. That's not it either. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Uh, maybe... Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? That's the one, the trophy. David has been dragging his head around since 2001? No, that's not it either. Obviously, David's parents care about him. Well, that date there. might be a good password. No, that's not it either. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to hmm. roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Or was it that one, the day that they met? Well, we have several options now, we can try. Worst hacker ever. <sighs> Try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Um. 
Nope. Score. Max the hackers. Let's head for the date they meet. Matt. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Oh, I should know that Chloe can't get through an hour without creating drama. Here we go. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. <laughs> he threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, stick it to the man, you of course. Anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation not from you punks maybe you should calm down uh oh you're turning on me now huh of course women always stick together well screw you david you better go to a hotel until we figure this out you can't kick me out of my own home it's my home david paid for and in my name you know the law right Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. <laughs> I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Nah. It'll be alright in the end. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? And what have you got to say? I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. That's your own doing. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. <laughs> okay, okay. Since it's you, I won't.
first thing that comes to mind. Don't bloody rewind it. Okay, I won't. This breakfast team remind me of one thing. I still haven't figured it out how to make American pancakes. They always go flat on me. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Still missing a lot of pictures. Um, what was the right one again? Let's see again. Ah, oh, his RV, okay. Door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. <laughs> I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. What the hell is this? Ugh, gross. More nasty shit. Now I gotta take the picture of the truck. I don't want to go that way. I'd love to do a whole big rig photo series. I'd love to do a whole big rig photo I series. I have to talk to the trucker. Wait, am I now stuck? Really? Nope, I don't want to go there. Seriously? Ah, not stick it to the man, stuck to, to the man. Reload. Max got stuck. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found <clears throat> pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker True. better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Now go straight for the I trucker. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. First, 
Yeah, this is what I need to do. Talk hey, to the trucker. How's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money for a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Whoa, whoa, Maybe whoa. What if I could? Mind your manners. Shifty Rachel What's her face asked me once if I drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18 wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Hey, how's it going? Peachy, interview over. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18 wheeler out there. <laughs> How the hell did you Frick know that? that guy in particular. Kate is precious. Yeah, she is. My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass. Kate reminds me of the the good things that oh, are still in this world. Must have known her too. Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. There we go. And that's this this scene where I was looking at in uh, episode two. Viewfinder. Uh, I already took a picture here. I can talk to her again, Hi. I guess. How are you? I remember you. I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? If I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. <laughs> Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me, so I see everybody. A great position to get information. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit just has a bad aura, as we <laughs> used to say. He also drugged the girl who tried to... I'll never forgive myself for not like being able to save Kate the first time. Me, Aww. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. I managed Maybe to do it, to but... what you're hiding. Maybe I feel like I can trust because you the experience I have in that crazy. shit. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. But you managed to do it the second time, and that counts I for something. A of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Consequences. Can I talk to her again? Hi, how are you? I think I, I mentioned one of her parents oh, and she did that. not I'm like that. Off the black uh, I guess it would be her mom then. Because uh, hey, if you mentioned her dad, uh, he sent her that card that, that he uh, he loves her unconditionally. Thanks. Wish I had a box. But I. Including Nathan Prescott? That's spoiled. Oh, peace. Shit. Ah, that happens. He also. Sounds like you. I just think. Maybe you could. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you. Too late. I'm just gonna. Could be. Thanks for that storm warning, Max. And, uh. I'll let you know. Oh yeah, by telling her that when shit hits the fan, you can actually save her by that. Uh, yeah, so nothing more over here. Uh, 
Oh, on the other hand, Detroit become human is worse to remind. To remember. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Nathan and Frank together? That's a bad combo. Start by speaking. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. What about Detroit you Become Watch Human? Just took that gun from you. Um, that's it's really tough child. to remember the parts Let's you gotta not. take for certain trophies you and this is kind of still manageable. Uh, so I was telling about, I uh, remember something like this, or now I want the, the, the homeless lady and now she can be saved during the storm. Luckily it isn't Detroit Become Human because that would be more tough to remember. What the fuck now? My beans. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? Oh yeah, the trailer is really good though. Yeah, it is. Actually, that studio is now developing uh, a game like that, but with Star Wars. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? <laughs> I was eating those beans. <laughs> now what? Oh, hell yeah. It's set in the High Republic era. I heard about it, but completely you forgot. Serious balls, I don't have any details. I just know that uh, that they were doing that. What should I do <laughs> again? I need to find out what keys he... Where his keys are, but... You should have jumped, asswipe. Should I speak to now? him? It's called Star Wars Eclipse. Oh really? I didn't know that. Could I get Thank you for the for the info. Are you supposed to be a smart student? I still have to play um um Thanks. What's it called? Um but I don't need your not, uh, and Chloe doesn't get any from me. The the new Jedi game they put out this year, last year. What should I do here again? I mean Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Jedi Survivor, yeah. Uh, because Survivor is the new one, isn't it? I'm kind of... What do I have to do with Frank here again? I mean, talk to him obviously doesn't make any difference. Rachel. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, I played it really fun. Okay. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. I'm I'm working my way in the platinum for the first one as well. Diner with a police officer right over there. You shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. 
No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to chill <laughs> in the principal's office. Welcome in, Andriana. How are you doing? Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Pretty Can good. Oh, good to hear. Welcome else, in. Lieutenant Caulfield. Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Maybe I will. Holy shit, what do you want now? Get all my dialogue options, that's what I want now. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You were so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. Yeah. Don't for an enemy, understand? And he also gets it the Calm worst. Down, dude. We're in a diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Holy shit. Really ignorant little shit. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Let's go to the copper. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new <laughs> nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Kate deserves Thanks, it. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right Exactly. Time, Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. And that's not good either. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. <laughs> that's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. What can I do for you, Max? Um, Nathan I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. <laughs> I better finish my breakfast. No the feeling. We'll chat later, Max. Sort of. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. Then we don't say that. So Nathan Prescott is not a dialogue option. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? Nope. I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Somebody is photobombing all the time. Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Him and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. 
That boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can <laughs> bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't That's it. Bet. That's the glitch I was talking about. Really? Oh. Frank used to bet on dogs. I thought it was just some kind of camera crack. movement, or I didn't call that was as a glitch. Dogs. Kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What can I do for you, Max? Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city. With Did normal you clip it by any? Coincidence? Jump scare. <laughs> uh, can we go back to Nate now and use that? Holy shit! What? I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers, like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire; he owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually, he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, <laughs> forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. <sighs> what can I do for you, Max? Nothing, apparently. Now we can talk to Frank. <clears throat> what the fuck now? David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Oh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog <laughs> shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Oh, really? My work here is done here, Frank. What the fuck now? Go for the fix. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after school special to go with that? I clipped it, lol. Well, thank Look, you for that. I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. <laughs> Not like you spoiled black It's kind of like the God of War time on your uh, but, GIF, but you know, no. the rotating image with the, the dwarf coming in front of Kratos and he doing did. funny movements. Ever. It's just like this lady outfit. coming on camera every time. Get a new outfit and leave me alone. What the? And now it's the beans, right? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Yeah, Give I did. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Oh yeah, that was the trick. Okay, I was making sure it was on there because it said error when I tried to post it. Ah, cool. Thank you. A 
Alyssa, watch out! Quick thinking, Max. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max, this is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. Yeah, you sorta. really are a Blackwell hero, Max. Gotta love the running joke with Alyssa. She's always getting her shit rocked. Yeah. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up. But you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Sure. Thanks again, Max. Talk to you later. I have to take a small bathroom break and take myself something to eat as well. So I'll be back in a few minutes.
and back at it. Uh, let's get into that RV. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. We're not going to That's let the doggy run over. That would be cruel. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. Did you saw that billboard, the You're joy of watering plants? <laughs> Frank has hint. issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see we could. us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. But yeah, it's a cool running joke indeed. I didn't even I notice it until I went for the trophies. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar on your by. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Presto, Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? Yeah, give it back. I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. That was not very convincing. I might regret this, but... I can't let Frank hurt someone. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. <laughs> Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. No prize here. Too bad. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. I actually have exactly the same CD player standing right here. It's really cool. How can somebody live like this? Day by day, one day at a time. It's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Almost. Crappy wife out here. It's taking days. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. No more secrets. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? I guess both. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Is Frank going to deal online now? Mm. 
Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Well, where's that tool again? Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Yeah, like every buyer brings his bag back. What do you think yourself, Max? Oh, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. <laughs> Pompidou? <laughs> for reals? That's a poodle's name. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Where was that tool again? Huh? This is almost as good as a set of keys. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. Your my blade will open any portal. Not yet. First, we knife this open. Huh? We can't. Too bad. Well, what's Chloe looking at over there? Hmm. Oh man, <clears throat> Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. <laughs> hmm. Trouble in paradise. What Chloe is looking at. On Frank's background, that's what she's looking at. <laughs> Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. I guess I'm done here. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit, who hasn't? Fuck everybody. Chloe. Beans. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. <laughs> it's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? 
You blame William? Really? <laughs> yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Hate to see them fight. This is one of the hardest parts. Oh my god. What is happening now? Emotion wise. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, no, you're not. give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that What's far that back in crazy? time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crickets. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. But not after today. Right, like you're the real cook here? I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. And this is the last time unless I change it. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. So sad. Remember how many eggs? Fly. Mom said it depends. That's true. So how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. 
Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. That's where she got the inspiration from. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide... The eggs. Mom said it depends. That's true. Score! Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom is away. I'll let her know that. I could call Joyce at the Two Whales Diner and warn her. If I had the number. Sorry, wrong number. Max, come on, you know better than that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? I know I've seen those pictures before. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Joyce loves William so much. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be great. My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Is that enough or do I need to hide them somewhere else? Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Shit, wanna rewind? Come on. Blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world no, salmon we rewind. with chocolate. Can the William go? Dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Real cook here. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. That's a cool snow dough. Hello. Obvious, hey, honey, but it will have to do. Breakfast with Chloe and Max. 
We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy <laughs> Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh, yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries, and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. <laughs> you feel okay? Life Hello. is strange. I am awesome. We are awesome. No, we're not, sadly. Where shit hits the fan. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Cold every day. Never Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe?
Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Holy shit. Oh, this fucking here it goes again. Damn. Gets to me every time. <sighs> now let's do the remaining pictures. Chaos Theory. You stole the money. You kissed Chloe, sided with Chloe. Kept throwing dogs from harm, and what more do we do? Chloe has David's gun. Huh. So let's do the remaining pictures. And get in a little bit of a brighter mood because damn. This game really knows how to mess with my emotions. It did the first time and it does it again. Put the camera back. <sighs> you are in for a world of hurt with life is strange to uh damn and try and <laughs> I don't even wanna imagine. Cry every time. I reckon I will too then. Kate! Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. First, I'm looking up some trophies. Okay, got that one. Uh, feed the rabbit. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, not on this. Will you be streaming all of them? I'm bef assuming before the storm is next. Yeah, that's uh, that's the idea to do them all in uh, chronicle or order. And story-wise, then before the storm should be next, but that spoils a lot of one. So, yeah, this okay, one before this the storm to the some captain be... somewhat after two, I believe, and then uh, um, uh, true colors. So I guess if you're stuck with me for a while.
Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I can't. Comfort her. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just, like, shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Oh yeah, Hello, Life is Strange 2 had a DLC that you she can play in between episode 1 and 2. She okay, because it doesn't give me, uh, give me that, um... I won't say a word. Where did I it took to God. place. I believe you, Max. Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. Awesome Adventure of Captain Spirit, I think that's the one. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. I like really do need to get some sleep, Max. Awesome Adventure. Yeah, yeah. I'm already read that. <clears throat> I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. It'll alert you that you can play it before you move on to episode two. Ah, okay. That's a I good know. thing because Victoria I was, uh, be especially story-driven games, I uh, always want to play it in oh, story no. order. You saw her? So make sure that I don't so won't miss anything. When she left the dorm. She wouldn't even. Thank. You. So now we go to <sighs> Victoria. Victoria is Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. I need to put my... Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Oh, it's that statue. That's the one. I need it. Parallax view. Cool. Now we can go to the menu. Select the next one. Definitely make sure you download the DLC before you play it because I, I had to wait like a nerd for it to install lol. Yeah, I already have. Uh, I got it in a few months ago, and I instantly installed everything. So, been there, done that. Uh, collected, 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 collected. See what one downstairs house. Let's see what we need here. Good, good. Oh, I was wrong about that picture. Ah, oh, no problem. You sound like the Emperor. Good, good, my young apprentice. <laughs> uh, what picture could it possibly be downstairs then? Why can't I get any... Message deleted. Oops. I hope that message wasn't for Joyce or Chloe. Um, let me see. Is there... Ah, uh, okay. I already know what to do. It's this part. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Good, Anakin. Good. Kill him. Kill him now. Do 
there now should be a bird coming in. Ah, bird see? Gone. This is the part I meant. Run, you fools. This is the bird I mean. I'm chasing him around. And then you can take a picture out of him outside. Ah, oh, yeah. Here, I can take the picture. That's, by the way, the only Star Wars movie I ever saw in... No, no, that's not the only Star Wars movie I saw in cinemas. I saw the rest as well, the new trilogy. But that's the only Star Wars... Raw Strength. The only Star Wars movie I saw twice in cinema. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. And to me, it went such suddenly, instantly dark from uh, being an apprentice, managed his his emotions and um, going uh, all the way batty. through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Oh, by the way, oh, that's not the part of that scene I meant would good. Uh, after the, uh, the Emperor got... Uh, uh... Let's check the door. Frank gets so uh, wasted, he sometimes got deformed, and he uh, pledged allegiance to the Emperor, he says, Good. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. I was six when I saw Revenge of the Sith in theaters, and I only vividly Shit. remember seeing the, okay, here's the plan. end fight I'll on Mustafar. So then you were born in 1999, and then I was probably 16 when I saw the film. And then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Oh yeah, you sound Sorry. spooky during that part. This. Yeah, that's the one I mean, right. with the kind of... Good, the kind of effect on his voice. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. There should be a... That's the picture I need. Anne's doing crazy. So ominous. Optican. Is that the last one? Yep. Camera eye. All the pictures done. Looking at the time, I won't be doing, uh, um, why for some reason? Oh yeah, because I'm in collector mode, I was trying to get the menu. Uh, because I'm looking at the time and I won't be, um, 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 won't be doing another episode, that would be taking too long. Some of my earliest memories are watching Phantom Menace over and over. I was in the last grade of elementary school when that came out. Or just one before that? No, just before that. I was in second to last grade before uh, leaving elementary school when that came out. And I was in my second year on uh, uh, high school when Attack of the Clones came out. And I was almost finished with high school when Revenge of the Sith came out. So, yeah. And I've watched the new trilogy. And also the uh, um, Rogue One. I've watched them all in cinemas. 
And then a few years ago, they started to re-releasing them, starting episode one uh, as 3D movies. And they did the first one, uh, Phantom Menace. And that's just uh, um, when they when the Disney deal happened, or just shortly after that, they stopped stopped that uh, because the plan was to re-release them all in 3D in cinemas. And like I said, just when Disney got uh, got Star Wars, got Lucas Films, they quit at that, and I was really bummed out because I was really in, into watching them all 3D in cinema. Oh well, can't get everything. I'm going to watch uh, Indiana Jones next Wednesday on uh, in the cinema. I've been there last Wednesday, but for some reason I uh, was interrupted and couldn't follow the movie. Uh, anyhow, uh, I'm going to quit the stream right here, uh, leave episode 4 for tomorrow night, I guess. Um, thank you everyone for watching, thanks Taz, uh, thank you Ash, it was a lovely evening, it was uh, lovely to have you here. And I will hope we'll uh, speak to each other very soon, because I uh, really enjoyed it, and uh, it was nice talking about some uh, equal hobbies and interests. Um... Let me see, shall we wait rate anyone? Is there anyone else playing Life is Strange? Let me see, let me see. Life is Strange, who is playing? There is someone playing it Okay, bye bye. I'll try to tune in next time. Sure, no, uh, no rush. Again, thanks for uh, for being here. Hope you guys had fun. I sure had, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.